Hi, it's Patrick Hutzel from IntensiveCareHotline.com where we instantly improve the lives of families of critically ill patients in intensive care so that you can have peace of mind, real power, real control and so that you can influence decision making fast even if you're not a doctor or a nurse in intensive care. In last week's blog I've shown you why you need to disrupt before you are being disrupted whilst your loved one is critically ill in intensive care. You can check out last week's blog if you're clicking on the link below this video. In this week's blog I want to give you some special insights when you, your family and your critically ill loved one are faced with the multiple challenges when being in intensive care. So in this week's blog I want to show you how to play a high stakes game that only the intensive care team knows how to win. I have stopped count of the many families of critically ill patients in intensive care who slowly but surely realize that when they have a loved one admitted to intensive care that they are involved in a high stakes game. Those families of critically ill patients also go on to realize that in order to quote unquote play this high stakes game they lack the manual, the instructions and the blueprint. Families of critically ill patients in intensive care also quickly realize that if their critically ill loved one is in one of the following situations where they are either very unstable and in a very critical condition or if they are in a life-threatening situation, if they are in intensive care for long-term treatments and long-term stays, if they're having a severe or traumatic head or brain injury, or if they are threatened with an NFR which is not for resuscitation or DNR, do not resuscitate order, or if they are even approaching their end of life in intensive care, that they are involved in an unusual, bizarre, unexpected, volatile, stressful and challenging situation. Families of critically ill patients in intensive care who experience their loved one being in one of those situations realize that they are involved in a high stakes game and they are at a loss to even quote unquote start the game so to speak. The intensive care team on the other hand is a master at playing this high stakes game. They've played the game many times and they have structured this high stakes game in a way that they are always going to win. They are basically laying down the law so to speak and if you are like 99% of families of critically ill patients in intensive care who have no peace of mind, no control, no power and no influence you might have an idea that you are involved in a high stakes game and you still don't question, you still take everything for face value that the intensive care team is telling you and you just simply lack the tools in your toolbox to play this high stakes game. And let's put aside that your loved one is critically ill in intensive care for a minute. Let's put aside that you're, loved, that you're involved in a once in a lifetime situation that you can't really afford to get wrong Let's put aside for a minute that you don't know what the next few hours bring and let's put aside that your critically ill loved one is in a very volatile situation. The fact of the matter is that when you are faced with a big challenge in life you need a roadmap, you need guidance, you need a blueprint you, and you need to have confidence in your abilities to deal with whatever life throws at you. To live through an impossible situation. You don't need to have the reflexes of a Grand Prix driver, the muscles of a Hercules, the mind of an Einstein. You simply need to know what to do. This is a quote from Anthony Greenback from the Book of Survival. And if you don't know what to do if your loved one is critically ill in intensive care, you'll have a hard time to play or let alone win this high stakes game that is intensive care. The intensive care team on the other hand knows how to play and knows how to win this high stakes game. They've played this game over and over again and they know what to say, they know how they say it, they know when to say it. They know how to gauge your reactions. 
they know how to gauge your emotions and they know how to take advantage of your emotions as well. The intensive care team has played this high stakes game over and over again and they have written the instruction manual and they have made the rules, so to speak. The intensive care team has grown so shrewd and adept at quote-unquote selling you any situation as being quote-unquote in the best interest for your critically ill loved one. They can twist and turn situations in many ways according to what's happening behind the scenes in intensive care to suit their agenda and not yours. Now remember, if your critically ill loved one is either very unstable and in a very critical condition or is in a life-threatening situation or is in intensive care for long-term treatments and long-term stays or is having a severe or traumatic head or brain injury or is threatened with an NFR not for resuscitation or DNR do not resuscitate order or is even approaching the end of life in intensive care and you have realized that you are involved and playing a high stakes game and you are lacking the instruction manual it's time to get proactive you have also realized that if you are not prepared to stand up for your interests if you are not prepared to act differently compared to the 99% of families of critically ill patients who have no peace of mind, no control, no power and no influence, you will get lost in the jungle that is intensive care and in fact you may get bruised and battered while getting lost. To live through an impossible situation, you don't need to have the reflexes of a Grand Prix driver, the muscles of a Hercules, the mind of an Einstein. You simply need to know what to do. Again, this is the quote from Anthony Greenback, The Book of Survival. And I think this quote sums it up perfectly. You and your family simply need to know what to do to put the odds in your favor. In order to win this high stakes game, you and your family need to take matters in your own hands. You need to start acting and behaving differently and you need to believe that you not only can win this high stakes game, you also need to believe that you can have peace of mind, control, power and influence irrespective of the challenges that you and your critically ill loved one are facing. The intensive care team on the other hand just simply fills you in with the cold and hard clinical facts and realities and they can twist and turn that information according to their mainly hidden agenda. That hidden agenda can change often and at any given time depending on the interests of the intensive care team such as the financial and monetary interests of the intensive care team. For example, will they make money or lose money if they continue treating your critically ill loved one? Also, the fierce competition for beds in intensive care from other patients awaiting admission into scarce, precious and expensive intensive care beds. Also, the massive medical research interests of the intensive care team. For example, will treating your critically ill loved one give the intensive care team the ability to enroll them in a medical research study and attract some funding? Also, the politics the power play, the dynamics, the competing interests, the intrigue and the psychology in intensive care is also what's driving the positioning of the intensive care team and is also often driving the positioning of your critically ill loved ones diagnosis and prognosis and therefore their treatment. The truth of the matter is that if you are not on high alert when being involved in this high stakes game whilst your loved one is critically ill in intensive care you, your family and your critically ill loved one will be fighting an uphill battle and you will never have peace of mind, control, power and influence. If you don't get a handle on things quickly, if you don't understand the moving parts behind the scenes in intensive care and how they impact on the intensive care team's positioning. The high stakes game is over for you before you've even realized that it even began. The question is, 
Can you afford to continue to have a weak posture like 99% of families of critically ill patients in intensive care who have no peace of mind, no control, no power and no influence? Can you really afford to have the intensive care team drive their hidden agenda? Can you really afford to not have a strong positioning, a strong agenda yourself and a goal that you want to achieve in a situation where your critically ill loved one is either very unstable and in a very critical condition or is in a life-threatening situation or is in intensive care for long-term treatments and long-term stays or if they're having a severe or traumatic head or brain injury or if they are even threatened with an NFR not for resuscitation or DNR do not resuscitate order or if they are even approaching their end of life in intensive care. Do you really want the intensive care team to direct the goals and the agenda in those challenging and difficult situations? Do you really want to continue losing this high stakes game that only the intensive care team knows how to play? I know that if you've come that far you want to take action, you want to start asking the right questions, you want to do your own research, you need to stop sucking up to the intensive care team and you need to have peace of mind, control, power and influence. So therefore let the games begin. How can you get the instructions to play and win this high stakes game? How can you quickly get peace of mind, control, power and influence whilst your loved one is critically ill in intensive care? You get to that all important feeling of peace of mind, control, power and influence when you download your free instant impact report now by entering your email below. In your free instant impact report you learn quickly how to get peace of mind, real power and real control and how you can influence decision making fast whilst your loved one is critically ill in intensive care. Your free instant impact report gives you in-depth insight that you must know whilst your loved one is critically ill or is even dying in intensive care. Sign up and download your free instant impact report now by entering your email below. In your free instant impact report you learn how to speak the secret intensive care language so that the doctors and the nurses know straight away that you are an insider and that you know and understand what's really happening in intensive care. In your free report you will also discover how to ask the doctors and the nurses the right questions, discover the many competing interests in intensive care and how your critically ill loved one's treatment may depend on those competing interests, how to eliminate fear, frustration, stress, struggle and vulnerability even if your loved one is dying. You get five killer tips and strategies helping you to get on the right path to peace of mind, control, power and influence in your situation. You'll get real world examples that you can easily adapt to your and your critically ill loved one's situation. How to stop being intimidated by the intensive care team and how you will be seen as equals. You'll get crucial behind the scenes insight so that you know and understand what's really happening in intensive care and how you need to manage doctors and nurses in intensive care and it's not what you think. Thank you for tuning into this week's blog and I'll see you again in another update next week. Make sure you also check out our Your Questions Answered section where we answer your questions or send me an email to support at intensivecarehotline.com with your questions. This is Patrick Hutzel from intensivecarehotline.com and I'll see you again next week in another update.